Yo, so this was actually supposed to be two separate videos. I had a whole weekend in Phoenix vlog with BTS and awesome content all laid out for you guys. And when I plugged in my hard drive to my other computer, none of the files from this weekend were there, including the whole entire music video I shot on Saturday. Luckily, um, Luckily, I had not formatted the cards yet, and I was able to redump it, but I did lose the first two days of footage, vlog footage on my M50, so I apologize. Um, so what I'm gonna do is show you guys the, the picture profile settings that I use on this M50. It's also the same picture profile settings I use on my EOS R, um, so pretty much any Canon camera. This is, in my opinion, uh, the best picture profile to shoot in for Canon colors, which I love. Love Canon. Love Canon colors. Let's check it out. Yo! Never mind. You know what? I totally just found the footage. Go back and watch that vlog. Check it out. All shot on M50 and a couple clips, uh, BTS clips on EOS R, but they are in the same exact picture profile as I'm about to show you now. Okay, so there are two ways to do this. The first kind of like quick shortcut way is you press this Q right here. Um, and then you go to your picture profile setting, which right now it's already in neutral. Click on neutral. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and click info so I can see the picture style. I apologize, this is out of focus. So yeah, click the Q. Uh, picture style and then click info you can click it right there or you can click info right here um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the sharpness so you can see right there turn that all the way down to zero I'm gonna turn the contrast all the way down to zero and turn the saturation all the way down to zero and then my color tone I keep that one just up two from the left, so also down two from the middle. However you wanna put it, I keep it up two from the left. And there you have it. Uh, the other way to do it is you can go ahead and click the menu button right here. Um, go into shooting settings. Wow, it's kinda of bright, I apologize. Uh, go right into shooting settings. Um, and then click over to the third page, go down to picture style, click neutral, um, and here's just another way that you can set, uh, you can actually go in and set all your different uh, monochrome, faithful, all the different um, picture styles that are already in here, you can adjust them, um, but you, as you can see here, um, the actual numbers right there, I've got my saturation down four, I've got my uh, contrast down four and I've got my color cone my color tone down two. So there you have it. That's how I shoot uh, That's the color profile that I shoot in uh, on my EOS R on my Canon M50 any Canon camera That is the color profile that I'm going to shoot in now as far as white balance I for the most part I honestly keep it on auto now 15 year old me would like be totally offended if I heard myself say that right now um but to be honest, I'm, I'm cool with uh, the auto white balance, you know, can, the Canon footage in HD and 4K, whatever, um, has enough dynamic range that I'm able to manipulate the white balance if I really need to, color correct it a little bit. Um, sometimes if I am in a situation where I see like, oh, it's just way too orange or it's way too blue in the environment, I will go ahead and switch the, the white balance over. Um, to, to one of the stock settings or, or even switch it over to just whatever, however the white balance is going to look best um, to me. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically it in a nutshell as far as like color and, and picture style, picture profile. That's what I use. It's the neutral picture, neutral picture style with uh, everything turned all the way down except for color tone up too. So, yeah, that's how I do it. You, you don't have to do it the way I do it. Um, it I, just because that's how I do it doesn't mean you're gonna be able to get your footage to look exactly like mine. You want your footage to look like yours. It's totally cool for you to take away 
bits and pieces and knowledge of how I do it, but you really want to make sure that you are refining and finding your own style, I could care less if you copy me. You know what I mean? It doesn't bother me if you copy me. I'm just telling you, for you, for the best results, you need to add your own twist to it. Give it your own style because nobody's going to hire you for looking like me. You know, you get what I'm saying? They're going to hire you for the work that you do and the style that you have your own personal style. So appreciate you guys. Hope you got, you enjoyed this video and I hope that, um, you know, you can improve your color with the, using these different picture styles. Get to know your camera, man. Get to know the ins and outs of your camera, your settings. You got to know this stuff. If you want to, especially if you're going to be charging people for client work, you have to know what you're doing, right? So get out there, man. Practice. Shoot every single, every single freaking day, man. Make some content. Document. You don't have to, like, know everything about cameras to go out and make some dope videos, man. Just go practice, practice, practice. Um, you know, I've said this before. Your 100 hours of practice will never hold up against my 100,000 hours of practice. I don't know if it's been that long, but you get the point. You know what I'm saying? Um... If you don't shoot every day, you're never going to be as good as someone who shoots every day. With all the natural talent in the world, you got to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice storytelling, practice coloring, practice all that shit, man. Stay creative. Peace.